Head over to search and type in task manager. Once you're on it, we're gonna head over to performance. You can now check your CPU memory, disk and GPU usage. So for example, on my computer, I haven't got many things running right now and my CPU is on 5% utilization, which is really good. You can also check out the graph to see your CPU activity. You can also check your speed and how many cores and threads you have. You could also head over to memory, then you can see how much RAM you have available, how much is in use. In 2023, I would recommend having at least eight gigabytes of RAM. However, if you're a gamer, you could go over 16. You could also see your speed right here. You could also head over to your SSD or your hard drive. I would recommend putting your Windows installation on your SSD because it will make your computer like 10 times faster. You could also see the utilization. A good percentage that you should aim for for your drives is probably under 20%, under 10 or 20%, unless you're copy and pasting something. Next, we're gonna head into startup and then you should turn off all of the apps that you don't want when your computer starts up because this will take up your memory. So the way to do that, for example, if I don't want Logitech Gb to start up, I'll click on it, then click on disable. Do that for all the apps that you don't want to start up when your computer turns on. You could also head over into processes and then you can see which apps are using your CPU and your memory the most. The way to check is just by clicking on memory, if you want to check that for example, and then you can see which apps are taking up the most memory. Same with the CPU. If an app is taking up a lot of memory and you want to delete it, just head over to search and type in add or remove programs. Once you're on it, you can just find the application down here, click on the three dots and then click on uninstall and follow all the steps. If you want to scan your computer to see if it has any bugs or issues, just head over to search and type in CMD, then we're going to run it as administrator. Click on yes and then type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And if you have any problems, then this should fix it for you. 